warehouse containing independent stock of physical CD and album releases went up in flames during the London riots. It was a major blow to the indie labels already in a really struggling climate. Indie labels are the lifeblood of exciting new creative British music. It would be an absolute tragedy if they were allowed to die out. We are unified and on one accord. One of the great things about indie labels is that the truly magnificent ones have such a strong identity. It's impossible to ignore the influence of Creation Records, which is one of the most iconic British indies of all time. Alan McGee, who ran it, he always said he signed people, not music, and it was the real personalities that came through. It would have been an amazing thing to work at Creation Records, it was such a party vibe. Bands like Ride say they'd go in on a Friday night for an A&R meeting and suddenly it would be Monday morning and they couldn't remember what had happened and they were still in the office. What's interesting about Rough Trade is that it actually started as a record shop in West London in 1976, I think it was, and still actually continues to this day. But as a record label, I think what's really interesting for me is that it spans so many decades. It's been so relevant for so long, first with punk, then post-punk, and then, of course, in the 80s, when it signed a little band called The Smiths. Rough Trade it was fairly quiet in the 90s, but then it came back in 2001, completely relaunched itself, and it still seems like they're on a roll. Probably one of the most famous British indie labels of all time is Factory Records. I feel so extraordinary. I think one of the reasons it's so famous Obviously, there's the roster, but also Tony Wilson, the man behind the label. He was such a character. He had such a belief and passion. Actually, his A&R skills were second to none. He could sniff out talent. The, the, the silly things were more things because he didn't have much of a business mind. There's these amazing stories about tens of thousands of pounds thrown away by Happy Monday's ill-fated Barbados studio sessions. It's so hard to imagine another indie label in this day and age having that much belief and probably stupidity to actually give their artists so much free reign. 